Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers at Harvard have created a system that uses artificial photosynthesis to produce fuel from sunlight and water. The system is called Bionic Leaf, and though it doesn't actually look like this illustration, its process is similar to that of plants using sunlight to create usable, storable fuel. But there's one important difference. The Bionic Leaf system is 10 times more efficient at converting solar energy to biomass than natural photosynthesis. The products that can be generated using this bionic leaf system are isopropanol, isobutanol, and isopentanol. It's also been used to make polyhydroxybutyrate, or PHB, a simple but incredibly useful biopolymer. The study on this bionic leaf system is published in the journal Science. Next up, another team of researchers at Harvard has created a new lens that is capable of viewing objects even smaller than the wavelength of light. The researchers from Harvard's John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, or SEAS, have developed what's called a planar meta-lens. Unlike the convex lenses we're used to seeing on microscopes or cameras, planar meta-lenses are flat. The meta lens made by the SEAS team uses a surface embedded with millions of tiny waveguides to focus and magnify light that passes through it. The meta lens is able to not only resolve images smaller than a wavelength of light, but to do so within the visible spectrum. It's better than conventional convex lenses, and it's potentially cheaper to manufacture too. Because they're made simply by applying the metasurface containing the waveguides, planar meta lenses like this one could be mass produced by the same facilities that manufacture microprocessors. The research on meta lenses at visible wavelengths is also published in the journal Science. Finally, researchers at MIT, damn, big week for the Bay State, have succeeded in creating gene circuits in living cells. This research is intended to expand the computational abilities of synthetic biological systems to better match the versatility of natural cells. Unlike other synthetic biological systems, the gene circuits developed by the MIT team are mixed signal devices, meaning they can interpret analog and digital input. In the future, gene circuits like these could be used to regulate glucose levels or monitor cancer treatments and make adjustments depending on current conditions in the body. The team is already working to use these gene circuits to create customized bacteria capable of treating diseases. Combining the natural processes of life itself with human engineering and ingenuity to improve our lives. That's definitely good news. A bionic leaf uses artificial photosynthesis to turn sunlight into fuel. A meta lens can view objects tinier than a wavelength of light. And gene circuits could someday allow us to make artificial cells that are as smart as the natural ones. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to help us make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, right? All done. All done. I know. I know. I know. I know.